Hello everybody, it's Ed Rosenberg and I'm with Brian and Aaron, who are both the co-founders of Lifting Mirror. How are you doing guys? Hey, we're good. Okay, thank you so much for coming on. And this is an interesting um, husband and wife team. I've never seen that, um, you know, in this capacity. Tell us a little bit about your background, please, and what you can do for an online seller. Yes, yeah, so I come from a programming background. I've been programming for over 10 years. I started in finance, so working in Chicago in the um, finance space, doing some of that. Um, and then the last couple of years, I've kind of migrated into some e-commerce, and I've been looking at writing tools and been writing some tools to help sellers sell more effectively and just help online stores wherever they can. And then Aaron can tell you a little bit about it. Yeah. So um, I do mostly design stuff and also customer support. Um, my background, I have a master's in human computer interaction um, that I just finished a couple years ago. And so what I've been working on mostly is design stuff um, in terms of getting people's uh, Shopify store set up and helping them with that kind of stuff. Also, just doing for the listing here. Um, and that's mostly what I've been working on uh, along with Brian uh, since we started. So. Oh, okay, so tell me what gap does Listing Mirror fill? Like, like exactly, because I've heard some good things about it. I know somebody who signed up for it. How exactly differentiates you? Is it price? Is it ease of setup? Is it customer service? Yes. What differentiates you, which you, which you, which, which is a gap that you're trying to fill? Yeah. So let's kind of step back and talk about who our customer is, like who our target customer is, or what what makes them a good customer for us. And it's really anybody that has selling products online and selling products somehow in multiple locations. So it could be a retail store plus an eBay, it could be an Amazon plus an eBay plus a Shopify. Somehow you have products that are in multiple things and you need to do something with them. So it's anyone like that we could potentially help and there's some other products that can also work on that. Um, what makes us different is generally the other products in this space have kind of a set track that you go on. So if you're going to sell on Amazon and eBay, then you know those are the only two platforms some products might support. And then you can't use variations. You you know you have to be customizable and say that different merchants want to sell on different platforms different ways. So we, we try to have a lot more flexibility in our platform that kind of lets you customize it to exactly how you want your items to look on each platform instead of kind of railroading you in this track of this is the only way that you can sell on this platform. In other words, the, the onboarding, you spend a lot of time on making sure that, making sure that, making sure that it goes smooth. Is that what you're saying? The yeah. onboarding? We do a lot more time in the onboarding and instead of just giving you a tool, just giving you a web page and some couple pages of directions and saying, read these directions and you'll be fine. We instead say, you know, let's, let's have a chat. Let's call, let's email, let's figure out what you're, what you're trying to do, what's wrong with like your current process and let's kind of figure out the process. And then we do the bulk of let's get all your initial setup done. Because obviously the first time you set up between Amazon and eBay is kind of the hardest. And then, okay, then you add 10 new products. That's not a big deal. You can do the adding new stuff on your own. And at a certain point, the system sees that you add the new products and it takes care of that for you. So it's the ongoing maintenance work is very low, but the setup of these systems are generally very complicated. So we, we try to take that burden and do the work for you. Mm -hmm. Right now, what, what, um, so just more yeah. on a case by case basis, work one on one with people versus, um, you know, just throwing a web page at them and telling them to figure it out for themselves. Actually, mm -hmm. having conversations with people, we've had great phone conversations, um, lots of email threads, stuff like that, just so, um, we genuinely do care about the people that are behind their products too. So, we want to be able to, um, to meet them, meet their needs, and, and get, get their products out to where they want them. And not and not create a lot of frustration. So, 
Right. So, so you guys integrate with, with eBay, Amazon. I didn't see Big Commerce on the list. Big Commerce, you don't integrate with? Um, we do Big Commerce. And then we do, okay, so the big stores are eBay, Amazon, Etsy. Etsy. And then we do a lot of e commerce web stores like Shopify, WooCommerce. Mm -hmm. Um, Magento, and then we have, sorry, there's so many stories that get confusing, so I'm not trying to forget these. And then we're working on right now bringing some people into Jet and Rakuten America. And in, in general, we're willing to connect to anything. So yeah. talk, talk to us, and if we don't have connections, we can mm -hmm. make it happen. Yeah. Right, and it's just, a, but I understand a list, but besides the listing tool, is it an order management tool? Is it a shipping tool? Can you do everything from A to Z? Once I log into Listing Mirror, I can connect to all my accounts everywhere and I can handle my entire process from A to Z, or is it just listing? Yeah, so the, the idea is that you have your products are probably already somewhere. Maybe you already have them on eBay, for example. So. Maybe you want to, as you add new products, you want to just add them to eBay and then have them appear on your other platform. So a very common mode of operation is you kind of set up a master store where this is where I change, this is where I add new listings, this is where I edit my listings, and we will push that out to the other platforms. Um, so yeah, our focuses right now are on the listing, mm -hmm. getting your listings in the right places. And then we also focus on the FBA, so the Fulfilled by Amazon. So if you hooked up to Amazon, eBay, Shopify, and the Amazon FBA orders, obviously Amazon fills for you. But if you sell on eBay or Shopify, then our software were, will do a multi-channel fulfillment order for Amazon and then send the tracking information back to the marketplace. Right, I see that. Right, so, so an order from eBay gets drop shipped Amazon FBA. Okay, I get that. Yep. But how about like a regular eBay order or let's say my big commerce? So when you say it connects to big commerce, what do you mean that, that it connects to big commerce? For the listings just, not not for the order management. Like it, like can I control the inventory in one place or that's not what this tool is? It's, it's just for the listing. Yeah, so we unify your inventory. So you have your inventory. If you have 20 of an item, you can either put the 20 of the item on each marketplace or a lot of times on Etsy or eBay, you have to limit that because there's seller limits or other reasons. So you, but regardless, you have inventory in all your places and you sell one item, all your inventory gets reduced by one. So you go from 20 on eBay and Etsy to, to 19. And then, yeah, right. so that's, that's all that's all consolidated. So you're not having to chase around, okay, some inventory is out of stock. So let me go log into eBay and close it out. Oh, I got some more back in stock. Let me log into eBay and add it back. All that's kind of happening behind the scenes. If you're using FBA as your inventory and you're sending in new products, we'll see the FBA shipment come in and we'll increase your inventory everywhere. Oh, if that's cool. Yeah, if, if you're making your own inventory and maybe you're shipping yourself, then you would normally log into your website and say, okay, I have 100 more units of this and you would change it in the inventory page. All right, and so, how, do you, how do you guys do pricing? It's commission-based or it's a flat fee? You don't have to give me the numbers, but it's just flat fee? Yep, so you can look on our website, but it's a flat fee, and it's based on how many channels you want to connect to and how many distinct... And again, and again, like everything, we can be a little bit flexible. Like, you know, maybe if you're 100 over the SKU limit, but you're only connecting to two channels, then... We can probably work you in one of the lower plans. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not like a set in stone, like you add one too many products and then your bill doubles. Like we'll definitely work with you guys and kind of see where you fit in and just how complex your setup is. All right, I see. Okay, Brian and Aaron, um, so far I mean the reviews, uh, at least from one guy who did it, he spoke extremely highly of you. I know he got it done. I, I find that when it comes to this multi-channel world, the hardest part is, is getting to, is getting to day one just to actually get it working yes just getting everything up getting everything syncing like that's the hardest thing because it, it might not be completely obvious all the time but just each channel has its own rules and its own you know little tricks behind it like 
eBay, you want to use variations, but you can only use variations in certain categories in eBay. So, but Amazon, maybe you can have this product with variations, but then eBay, you need to split out the listings. So, you know, your 10 Amazon products would become 50 eBay products. That's something we support, but it's not something that would be super obvious if you were just given the program and said, go set this up yourself, make it work. Right. You wouldn't really understand, like, why are my variations not working? All right. Okay. So, okay. Definitely. Like having us kind of help you get all that set up is definitely takes the, like, we think the biggest struggle out of getting this going. Like we hate to see people that are copying and pasting descriptions between these different channels and they're just doing all this busy work when we have computers, computers love to do busy work, right? right. We, we want to put them to work for you. And that's all right. Our all right. Okay, and do you guys sell it yourself? Have you guys sold on Amazon or do you sell on Amazon? Um, we have not. We do eBay and stuff, but yeah, so I, I came from finance and then moved into e-commerce as kind of interesting place to write code. I, I definitely, you know, I try to follow as much as I can. I, if I couldn't program, I, I could, you know, have fun doing some white label on FBA or something like that, but it's just not something that, you know, we're doing right now. We don't, we don't have time, right? We're spending right. all our time on writing this code so you guys can sell better. Right, 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 right. Yeah, not, not everyone can do everything. I happen to be, I'm, I'm a program, my background is in programming myself. Okay. Yeah, I was actually a, by 9-11, I, I, I was, was, I actually was right there. I saw like the whole tower like come crashing down. And then, yeah, uh, and then from there, like, it became very hard, the whole industry, so whatever. <laughs> you can talk about that offline, right? <laughs> okay, guys, so I appreciate that, and I'm going to put the link above um, in YouTube below. And like you told me, I understand it'll give us a nice discount, so we'll work out the details, and I'll put it below, okay? Yep. Okay, I really appreciate you coming on. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, we will. Bye.